Hello everyone, welcome to Automoto. In this video, we will discuss about two-stroke engines. So, so the two-stroke engines completes its cycles in two strokes. There are no valves used for charging and exhaust of the cylinder. These engines are charged by scavenging through its inlet ports. The opening and closing of the inlet and exhaust ports are controlled by piston motion. The only two stroke in this engine is compression stroke and expansion stroke which is power stroke. The top of the piston has deflectors which deflects fresh air to sweep up the top of the cylinder before flowing to the exhaust ports. These deflectors cleans the cylinder of combustion products and also prevents the fresh charge to flow directly to the exhaust port. An additional pump like root blowers and superchargers are also used to scavenge the cylinder. A two-stroke engine gives more uniform torque on crankshaft, but these engines are only suitable for motorcycle, scooters and lawn movers. Now because in SI engines, the charge consists of mixture of air and fuel and some parts of the fresh charge escape from the exhaust. A two-stroke diesel engine do not suffer these defects because in CI engine, air is scavenged first in the combustion chamber and fuel is injected after the valve closes. Now some of the examples of some vehicles having two stroke engines are Chetak scooters, Suzuki Samurai and Shalin and Yamaha Rajdoot and Yamaha RX100. However, a small two stroke petrol engine are used where a simple and low cost prime mover is required. In these cases, a little higher fuel consumption is acceptable. The smallest engines are used in mopeds of 50cc SI engine and lawn movers. A 50cc engine develops up to 1.5 kW of brake power at 5000 rpm, while a 100cc SI engine generates 3 kW at 5000 rpm and a 150cc engine of two stroke generates 5 kW brake power at 5300 rpm. These two stroke engines can also be used in very small electricity generating sets and pumping sets. While for ship propulsion a very high power engine is used and these are generally two-stroke diesel engines. In fact, all engines having more than 60 cm of bore are two-stroke engines. And these engines are uniflow scavenge with loop scavenging system. Those two-stroke diesel engines used in ships gives the brake power of up to 40,000 kW. A Nordwalk two-stroke diesel engine develops 20,000 kW at 120 rpm which is having 12 cylinder of 80 cm bore and 155 cm stroke. Because of their low engine rpm, these engines are also directly coupled to propeller without using any gear reducers. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.